What's up everyone? Today we're working on the Firebird and I'm kind of dewinterizing it in a way. As you can see, we got very flat here, starting to go out here. That one looks fine. That one looks fine. But um, we also, I'm gonna go through, we also gotta get her actually running today. So I'm gonna, you know, make sure the oil levels and stuff are all good. And then we're gonna see if the battery's dead or not. If it's dead, we're gonna jump it. And then also because I need to fill the tires and all we have is a little car tire filler, I'm gonna wire this bad boy in to where the nine volt used to be on the inside here. So we're just gonna wire it up to this because I don't, I think I threw away the original one and yeah, but um, fingers crossed the battery's not dead, but if it is, we have a trickle charger that I'll throw it on. So in fact, actually I can, I can check the battery, see if it's charged or not, because this thing has a voltmeter. Let's see where she's at. Maybe. Let me get the hood open and we'll check the fluids first. So as you can see, very much so dead. I'm gonna hook the trickle charger up to it and let it sit for a little bit. Down right here. And then oil level is good enough though. And so let me get the trickle charger hooked up and we will go from there, I guess. So, update, I'm impatient. I'm gonna pull this battery out, swap it with the uh, Accord battery, cause that one's actually a beefier battery than this one. So I'm gonna pull this one out, get that one in. They're the same terminal setup and whatnot. And then that one I know is charged. And then I might, this one I might just like charge at work or something cause we have battery chargers. I don't know. Point is I gotta swap them around. Maybe I'll just throw that one in the Accord cause it's maybe charged enough to start it. I can get it charging. I don't know. I'm gonna, let me just get them swapped. How about? Third time's a charm, hopefully. So maybe the battery wasn't dead, maybe it was just the terminals, but um started right up. Still hear that nice valve tick. I think the valve on the uh, left side bank is a little bit loose. I gotta pull the valve cover off and fix it. So now that we know she runs, we gotta also, I tested reverse, and reverse works. We gotta fill the tires now. That's hooked up good enough for now. It does work, I tested it, so I'm gonna get the engine running and start seeing if that tire will take air because it is very, very, very flat. Now all we can do is wait and see if it uh, fills it up at all. Fingers crossed it does. I'm just gonna let it sit and fill for a fat second. Hopefully everything goes good. Hopefully you guys can hear me too. Cause uh, I mean it's it's taking air. It's, yeah, it's taking it's taking air for sure. So I gotta let it fill up now and get it pumped up to right 40ish round there. 40ish. Yeah, she's taking. So this vehicle does not need to pass emissions and I also have the emission stuff on this is broken anyway such as that so just to kind of save on some space and whatnot I'm gonna kind of go ahead and pull this whole system out like because this doesn't even have a belt on it the cat is not on this vehicle so anything that's EGR related I'm gonna be plugging up and whatnot and making it as straight through as possible for in this thing's condition of this thing's case a better running condition may also see if i can pull the plugs or something i don't know yet but um like this i think it's egr slash vacuum thing needs to come out and all the vacuum hoses i'm going to get the carburetor as you know not vacuum leaky as possible so that's kind of what i'm doing this is just held on 
but it looks like 210 mils. So I'm gonna pull this whole unit off and figure out which of these things need to be plugged up. And so, yeah, it should be a good time. All right, so another thing I wanna do is pull this vacuum pump thing out. I already got that all out, but um, I believe it's just bolt here and then another one right down there. And it should come off after that. Fingers crossed, oh, and then also, well, no, actually just that one and that one. So I'm gonna pull those out. This, well, yeah, let me pull those out and see if it comes out with that. And if not, we'll go from there. So quick update, turns out there's a whole bracket right there that holds it on. Um, so I'm gonna get those two guys off so I can pull this pump off. So another, another update, instead of pulling that bracket off, I decided just to pull, let me find it. Uh, that bolt that's sticking out, pulled it out. So I'm going to pull it out. And so that way I can get the thing off. All right, so all that junk's out finally. Nice bit of room in here. Um, Next up really is to like, you know, pull this and some other stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna get to that today or not. If I do, we'll get to that. But um, I'm gonna get the air and taking stuff back on and take her for a bit of a test drive and just see how she does. All right, took her for a test drive. This was like a week ago at this point, but um, she honestly ran really well. I don't know if it was like the emission stuff I did. Also, I did my best to um, get the alignment as far as camera goes, as good as possible, it still needs a toe adjustment, but oh well. Um, plans for this car in the near future is I kind of want to get new fenders, maybe fix the front bumper. And also the hood over here is a little bit dented up, so I don't know if I'm going to try to fix that or just find a new one. But um, also this headlight, I can just get new one of these little doors pretty cheaply online. But I want to kind of start getting more body work done so we can do a real nice proper paint job on it. I don't know if we're gonna do the same blue or not, or if we're just gonna like sand down the bad areas and just redo the paint job. I don't know what the plan is, but for a while, this blue is still good. I just need to touch up a few areas. And also I wanna pull the wheels off and uh, go through and redo the wheels. I'm actually gonna do those a bit better though than the actual body, just cause I can do those easier because they're smaller objects. But uh, yeah, until I have a better setup for doing an engine swap that's going to be kind of on pause especially because i need to get a transmission for it still i will still be doing the oil pump and stuff on the vortec 4200 but the actual swap probably won't be for a little bit longer than initially planned but oh well what you're gonna do um that's gonna be it for today kind of out of time and we gotta get a video up this week so hope you guys enjoyed this short little firebird video because i know it's been a while since we've done anything with her but um i mean she's slowly slowly making her better and better uh, i don't yeah say i think body work's gonna be no, more of what we're going into you know like the paint the fenders all that stuff the wheels because i don't think i think it'll be a little bit it'll be a while till we can do the uh, the engine swap and i want to get stuff done on it just that way we actually have content regarding you know the firebird and because i to work on it and i my goal is just to kind of make it a bit better of a driver with the current 5.0 which means going through and pulling the emission stuff off to make it run better with just the carb it has. I might even do a different carburetor on it, one that's not electronically controlled at all, just so it runs even better for that. You know, fix the valve and stuff, do all the little things just to make it better with the current motor. And as far as, you know, better also in the sense of having a better body, better alignment, stuff like that, just so it's more comfortable until we can get that engine swapped. Cause I don't want to swap the engine and still have, you know, drive terribly. Cause I'd rather have it be actually good handling with a more powerful motor, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, that's going to do it for today. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.